Welcome to Jenkins Documentation Office Hours. It's the 23rd of December. Reminder that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct. Um, so topics that I had on the agenda, news, She Code Africa Contributhon, modernizing a plugin, and then I just added an action item. What other topics do we need to add? Meg, I know you had submitted a question in the docs office or in the docs Gitter channel for a particular pull request. Should we take some time here and if managing time, Jenkins? Sure. Okay. So there's the pull request. Great. Elizabeth, are there any topics that you wanted to bring? Okay, great. All right. None for now. Okay, super. Thank you. So by way of news, um, Jenkins on Java 8 deprecation pull requests are in progress, uh, needs a Jenkins enhancement proposal that plans the transition. And that transition includes documentation updates, compatibility, security, transitions on um, platform installers like uh, Deb, RPM, MSI, etc. Uh, and lots of work to do there. And would it be useful to have a rough schedule to understand? I mean, when I first heard this, it's like, oh my God, we've got to scurry and get this done immediately. But this is beginning, right? It's not deprecated yet. This is, oh, right. This is this is far from deprecated. These are still conversations about how shall we approach it. Mm -hmm. So the one of the one of the challenges is there are some alternatives that, okay, my employer has large enterprise customers. So I, my employer, CloudBees, has large enterprise customers and those enterprise customers are relatively slower to move versions than, than a typical Jenkins user. And typical Jenkins users are already relatively slow. So alternatives that were offered were things like, should we continue a parallel, you know, should we make something a, a long, longer lived release as the last version to support Java 8? You know, give it six months or 12 months as a viable thing or should we um, delay the the current draft the current rough proposal was from tim jacome june 2021 as the transition lts so make it go there and with that transition that would mean we've got just just oh, a little over six months to get people ready for this and uh, you mean 2022 Oh, ooh, yes, thank you, 2022. Yes, I do. Good correction. Yeah, so, uh, and so for me, that's that's feeling too fast, and I've got to express that in the mailing list to say, hey, I think we've got, we need to, to give ourselves more time. We used, we used 12 months or more for the Java 7 to Java 8 transition, and I would expect that this transition needs, needs a, a, a fair amount of forewarning for users and preparation of, of documentation, code changes, getting ready, et cetera. So um, Mark discuss in the mailing list and uh, start a plan after the new year. So I'm, I'm not expecting to start work on the Jenkins enhancement. It'll use a Jenkins enhancement proposal to describe the plan, just like we did for um, the Docker image change. And the Docker image change plan was very helpful because it exposed all sorts of surprises while we did the planning. Oh, oh, didn't think of that. Oh, didn't think of that. So good, healthy thing to do. Any other questions on Java 8 deprecation? Okay, next topic then was Linux transition from system five to in it to system D. So this is the inside the deb 
and RPM files, we use um, System 5, the old style in its system to manage startup and shutdown. And restart. And all the, all the Linux distributions we support now use System D and have used it for probably three to five years. Uh, we've got some bugs in the bugs, a bug on Debian 11 that the that would be fixed by switching to system D. And then we've got a proposal from from uh, Jesse Glick to simplify the code dramatically. Simplify the restart process to make it even better. So, so there are there are some positive things there, but uh, development is complicated in that area, and testing is really complicated. And um, people are re get terribly ferociously grumpy if we break their installer. Huh. I so that works. lots of lots of things to do there. Um, what about somewhere? Don't we have a doc section about messing with boot parameters? And this, is that impacted? I don't know how long since that's been touched. Yeah, I think that would probably also be affected because system D uh, install docs will certainly be affected because system D thinks differently about how you set configurations. And somehow or other, we've got to decide, do we carry, do we try to translate the old to new? Do, and after translating it, is it stored in system D now? All, all sorts of things like that, right? So I configured which port does my Jenkins use for HTTP communication? And that's in a configuration file, but the, system, the system D config would be in a different location. And I certainly don't want to have to redo that on the upgrade from one version to the next, because most users won't read won't redo it until they find it broken and are very angry that it broke. Well, all this stuff about I uh, the different and yeah, never mind. We'll find that out later. I was planning to get to that. Okay. All right, so that's on the news stuff. Next topic was review the Managing Jenkins edition for Meg. Okay, so so this one. I here's... started to re adjust the order of the files in there, and then I started to have misgivings. Oh, so. okay, so this is just an adjustment of order. You didn't delete them, I see it there. Okay, right. my mistake. It's. You just move them down. Good. Okay. Because we can't delete them or even move them to the other section until we have a redirect. Right. Okay. Good. All right. And we need to see if the structure even works. I, because I saw some things that are in other sections that kind of look okay there. But. Okay. Now I'm not sure what you mean. So let's take a look at. Yeah. You're referring to this documentation here. So managing Jenkins. And um, we'll look at the PR, the things that I link to. Okay. Um, I, wrote, I wrote this to go through the entire managed Jenkins screen. Right. And a couple of the links are going to files outside of the managed Jenkins section. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Well, so and then it let's... may be that those files belong just where they are. Come on. Why is my mouse not clicking? Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, so first step, we don't need good enough that it is not a work in progress. So we don't need the that dialogue. Oh, except I should actually just propose the change. 
Here we go. Okay, proposed change. All right, then the manage Jenkins about page shows the current release of Jenkins on your system plus it. Okay, and so is it common to end a, a list item with a uh, full stop? It looks um, fine to I me. Wasn't sure. um, I wasn't sure what the convention is. It's been back and forth and I started doing it. Ah, like okay, that. yeah, I, I, I've, I've been using the convention of not doing it, but I don't have a strong opinion. And I, I certainly if there's a, there's, the, there's a technical writing standard for it, I'm fine with either. No, there's constant, I spent half my life, I swear, going through full documents and adding or removing the full stops. Got it. Okay, so we, we leave that as uncommented for now. All right, so. Okay, and this is now the intro page, the page that replaces this thing, right? Right. Okay, good. Good. Okay. Agreed. So monitors that alert you. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. You're describing administrative monitors. Thank you. Um, I, my, my thought, and uh, Elizabeth, I'd love to hear your input on this, is that if I were new to this, that's a big screen, and I would like to open. I would like to have a document that walks me through that screen and tells me what I'm seeing. Right, and, and I think that's that's a very sensible, sensible idea. That hey, here's a picture, and we're going to zoom in on pieces of the picture because you're already highlighting. Look, here's this thing right here. So let's go to not this one. Let's go to this one, Jenkins here. Uh, no administrative monitor. Oh, I know how to get an administrative monitor up there. We'll do this. There, there's an administrative monitor, right? That's top right hand corner thing says, building on the built in node can be a security issue. You should set the number of executors to zero. See the documentation. And there it is. Good. Okay. Now, now, in general, those monitors don't necessarily include links to the change log. Um, I think they, the one, don't the ones on um, Manage Jenkins do? Uh, not as well. So I'm on, let's go, here I am. If I go to Manage Jenkins, so here I am, and that administrative monitor will still be visible. I'm going to go bring it back. So just a moment while I bring it back. Okay, it's now going to be back for 15 seconds, even when I'm in managed jail. Oh no, interesting. Yeah, so here's one. This oh, one, a... yeah, this one shows, okay, here is here is the warning and the documentation it takes me to is actually not the change log. Ah, okay, so let me, so um, may include useful links such as to other documentation. Of the change. Right. Because most of the ones that I have seen have been your, you need to, upgrade or there's you know there's a security issue or something like that and those due to change logs but yeah so for me it's something like that yeah each monitor includes in a description of the issue it is reporting to you and links to additional information about the issue. Uh huh. That's good. because in my case, I was doing something. I'm doing something that's not recommended. Don't uh -huh. run. Don't run uh, with non-zero executor count on your controller. Aha! Uh -huh. They are not getting warned for that. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Inline help is available on most managed Jenkins pages. Yeah. 
select the question mark to the right of each field. So for example, let's see if we look at global tool configuration, that's a good one, it comes up pretty quickly. And over here, there's a question mark. That tells me, hey, what to do. And here there's a question mark and here, and the question marks are steadily getting better in terms of their consistency, where they appear, et cetera. So one step at a time. Yeah. Yeah, good, okay. Okay, I am. Okay, now this looks duplicated. Yes, it does. Okay, so, oops. And that didn't help me at all. Okay, let's see. Okay. I do reread and reread so much you don't see stuff anymore. Well, and that's why we do reviews, right? This, right. Is, this is exactly the purpose of a review. So that's great. Okay, to access the help inline. Okay, good, got it, all right. Ah, uh, this is one I'd like your opinion on whether I still, okay. I'm a trained historian, so I hate to lose the history. I did pare right. it down a little bit. Okay, yes. But I think people do show up that they used it five years ago and it's like, whoa, everything looks different. Uh-huh, right. So I just stuck it in the note. Yeah, so here you're describing, okay, we did tables to divs. And that's a, that's a real positive. And then we did improvements to the, the, with grouping. Do we want to, do we want to link from here? Oh, you've got it. You've already got it. So, well, okay, so we've got a link for this one. We don't have a link for the, um, the let me see if we, we can get one because I, I like that you've, you, you put the for more information and this thing in particular highlights, hey, we're doing some major stuff. Then there was a blog post, I think, on uh, the change to the, to, to what was it, to manage, oh, to the configuration page, maybe not. Let's see, manage Jenkins, overhaul of manage Jenkins page. Yes, there is, ah. is this it? No, no, this is not it. I thought nope. that blog had it, but I maybe I, that's- No, that so that's, this, this one is from 2018, so it's too old. Okay. And, and so manage Jenkins, maybe there's a different page. No, okay. So yeah, uh, if, if I find it separately, we can, we can always add it later. Okay. Great, so now this one, this is a gen generic link to the, ch the stable change log and it will always show the most current one. I'm not sure that they'll ah, benefit so that's from not that. Gonna, that's not gonna help anymore, is it? Well, if we wanna show them the change log, what we need to do is link to the specific change log version. Okay. And, and there it might be that we want to link to 2.277.1 for instance, which is where that was first introduced. This thing right here, and it talks about major changes in weekly, extreme, etc. cetera. Right. So, and I, and I like including that. It's just, if you're okay with it, let's, yeah. let's change it to instead be. If somebody really wants to know exactly what changed the change. Exactly. To go. Most sane readers will skip it, but. Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and well, they should, right? There's no, if you don't need the information, yeah. yeah, so use a, okay, link. But actually for us, it's nice going for, frankly, five years from now, somebody wants to know exactly when did we do that? Right, and, and that's, a, that's just a good highlight. That's a healthy thing to highlight. Now, one more change while we're here. 
we use, we tend to prefer to take off the WWW stuff oh. because oh, then we can do sure. site development without being, right. without na links navigating us away from it. Right. Okay, so system configuration group. All right. System configuration, dot global tool configuration, manage plugins. Yes, good. Okay. And oh, yes. And you said it here. Very good. Yes. Okay. But we show it here because we intend that everybody should have this thing. That's right. We would prefer that every, every Jenkins installation has configurations code. Good. Okay. So now back to and that. And I suspect before too long we will. Okay. And the docs will still work. Um, Excellent. Good. Okay. So now if I look at, so you've described system configuration here, and then now the next is security. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's one that now that's not in the credentials is not in this section. And I think that's maybe a good thing. When you say okay. credentials is not in the this sec section. I mean, the, um, the, the, the oh, oh, right, right. We, we are linking to someplace that's not immediately in this page. That's for right. me, that's fine. I think that's yeah. very reasonable. At one point I was thinking we'd move all that other stuff into this, but it's like, no, that doesn't make sense. Credentials make, I'm not a little bit of a question whether it belongs right where it is, but it doesn't necessarily belong here. Right. Make the yeah, I agree. Okay. So status information. Yeah, there it is. Good. Okay. Okay. Now, is disk usage actually included? Good. It's not. Okay. I feel better. Oh, it's not okay. No, this and this one's actually there's at least one of the disk usage plugins is a dangerous thing performance wise. Okay, was it there a little while ago? Uh, may have been. Don't know. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so when I when I need to know disk usage, I will commonly go to this location and look at all the the disk usage report that comes from the the list of nodes, the agents. Right. So I may have been cribbing some existing docs and not comparing them against what we had. So. Well, and, and certainly the, I believe there are products that ship with a disk usage, disk usage thing installed by default. Right. I mean, we really need a, a whole guide on what to look at in your system to see what's going on. And that's not here. Right. Exactly. Uh, okay. So system log is definitely there. So in my case, I've got monitoring enabled system information, system log. Good. Okay. And now you didn't show, I don't know if mine is because if load statistics, I thought this was a standard part, but you didn't see it on yours. I don't, I'm not running a Jenkins right now and I need to get okay. one running. It's, well, yeah. so I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do the <laughs> same check on a Jenkins instance that is well managed. Yeah. Okay. So load statistics is there. So that would need to be in. In. And yeah. so is cloud statistics. And I don't think I have that one. Uh, well, cloud statistics only applies, if I recall correctly, if you've got a cloud provider installed. So for instance, uh -huh. on my Jenkins, I don't have a cloud provider installed. And so uh -huh. I, I don't have any cloud statistics. Is this one that should be included though, the way that CASC is? Yeah, probably it's, should. Good point. Because but, a fair number, it's not, it's not a corner case. A lot of people are going it, to have it, right? Right, exactly. If you're hosting on a cloud and using agents that are ephemeral, you are likely to have exactly that. So let me make a note here that, all right, so it was need to add the cloud statistics. 
and the load statistics um, expl explanations pages. Because at least for me, I find there are times when this load statistics things can, thing can give a real hint. Like on here on Jenkins.io, it's fascinating to see how the load looks. There are times uh, when we will spike 90 executors running concurrently. Interesting. Okay, so troubleshooting, manage old data. And this one, does this one appear? I thought that one only appeared if it was needed, that it was, oh no, no, it is always there, my mistake, okay. Great. All right. This one has a, a is begging for. Yeah, that's a brilliant short description. There, you could write books about this thing. <laughs> How Jenkins intelligently handles um, arrival of data or detect detecting data that it doesn't know what to pro how to process it. And it puts it in this manage old data thing. And it, it's it's really quite cool. Okay, so screens for common tools and actions. Okay, now back to the, oh, right, yes. Okay, good. Reload configuration from disk, CLI. Oh, okay, and we've got doc, all CLI dash a doc. That name surprises me. Just a minute. Okay, I need to do a quick check to see if I if I believe that. Pushing on my stack. Okay. Okay, so the that one is your PR. Okay. Oh, looks like we lost Meg. There it is. Okay, good. I understand what the change is that's needed. Okay, sorry, I've been gone a little bit. My, I think my internet's being flaky, but I think I'm back. Yeah. So, well, and, and all I was and while just, you were gone, all I was doing was um, change the fixing a reference. Okay. Uh, so the reference was is listing CLI dash dash a doc, and it's actually just CLI. Okay. But now, and that will should link to a file inside managing, and we'll run this and double check it just to be sure. Okay, so don't need a doc suffix. Okay, good. Now. No, there I wasn't sure. Are, can you hear me? Yes, sure can. Yeah, okay. Um, we don't have a section for prepare for shutdown and shutdown. And it's like, I don't know that I want a whole doc page about that, but I'm not. So right now that has no link. Yeah, okay. Now, now you mentioned, okay. So, well, uh, so say that again. Help me, help me say okay. one more time original thing was that this would go all of these sections and we'd have a link from each one on where to read more. Uh -huh. I don't have a link for prepare for shutdown. Oh, I see. Right. And Got it. I don't know that I want to write up a page that's how you prepare for shutdown. 
yeah, that's that for me, if we don't have a separate page yet, we leave it exactly as you did it. Okay. And, but I could write up, a, I mean, I, there were a couple of them that we didn't have a page for, and I did something quickly and threw it in here, but and, I don't know that I want a page for that. And I don't see any harm to that. Ah, oh, okay. Those those two colons on the end. We'll turn that bold. Okay. Turn it into a turn it into a definition term, and definition terms, if I remember correctly, are bolded. Okay. And now this one, these, the things that you listed in the ad in the the uncategorized group are actually now categorized. I'm really proud oh. of that. That's oh. a big win. They are now system information. System information. Let's see, is it system information? So yeah. load statistics is in system information. And let's go to mine that has more. And monitoring of Jenkins Inc. agents and masters. But that one comes from a separate plugin. So I'm not oh. sure that, and I don't know how popular, maybe we should look actually. Let's, let's check to see just how popular it is. Melody, nope. Java Melody. So 20,000 installations, so roughly 10% of the installed base is using it. Uh. So that one may, that. Uh, how do you want to handle, what do you recommend for handling optional? Uh, I, I'm not sure. Okay. I'm, I mean, part of me, it's back to, need a good chapter about how you monitor the whole system and where we might mention some other plugin. You know, there's no place to go and say, I've got to know what's going on. What other plugin should I be pulling in here? Right. Okay. So, and, so I'm going to propose a change here of um, uncategorized is used for those plugins that have not yet um, define, declared the category of their page. Uh -huh. And um, so let's see. So this one is, so this is describing the uncategorized group and it's for plugins that have not yet declared the category of their page. We would hope that that content would actually be empty because every plugin should declare its category. Right. But plugins revise at their own at their own timeline, and so. So all of these links are there, but they're elsewhere on the page now. Uh, well, so right. they are there if the user, this one for instance, is there if the user installed the the monitoring plugin. Likewise okay. for this one. This one is there, I think if they install, I don't know if it's the Docker Cloud plugin, I don't have it and ci.jenkins.io doesn't have it, for example. Okay. But, but I suspect if I were to install Docker Cloud, maybe let's do that. Let's just see. Docker, there are many different ways to do Docker. I don't know if it's Docker Slaves, four years ago, Docker Swarm, yet another <laughs> Docker. Sorry, I don't know which it is. Yeah. Would I get it automatically if I had chosen the Docker image to install Jenkins in the first place? No, no, because this thing is running from the Jenkins Docker image. Oh, okay. So it may be as simple as this one. Let's try that one. The Docker plugin. It'll be back in a minute here. Okay, so onward. Okay, so we've got a documentation section somewhere on Groovy Sandbox. That's good. 
it needs some work, but it's there. Excellent. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay. So we're in documentation, managing Jenkins and the topmost page. Configure system. Okay. Now, what was it? What was I looking for? Oh, Groovy Sandbox, okay. that's right. Okay. Huh, wait a sec. Oh, oh, different page, script approval. Sorry, I need to look at the right page. So script approval, which is in process script approval. Here we go. Okay. Groovy Sandbox. In a Groovy Sandbox. There it is. Okay, great. All right. So the link is absolutely working. Good. Ooh, yes. And you describe in-process script approval. And I thought this was there all the time. Not, a, not conditional at all. Because oh. I don't... Right, the app, but yeah, the, you mean whether it's on the Manage Jenkins page? Yes, I think it is. Right. I meant to say, not with the. Oh, but that does say that it's only going to show. Yeah. So how about how about let's find some um, posing a different phrasing. Okay, so. Let's see, if an unsafe method is used in any of the scripts, the administrator can go to the in-process script approval action. Oh, yes, that's good. Administrator may use, can use, to allow, to allow the unsafe method. Right. Um, uh, we recommend against allowing, do or no. Yeah, how do we say it? Do not allow unsafe methods. Okay. In general, is it okay to say in general, do not allow unsafe methods well um because they are unsafe <laughs> okay now, now I, this is this is terrible phrasing so help me out yeah what well, what because i'm thinking that what we mean to say is be very careful be sure that what you are allowing is in fact say or some in other words i thought that something can show up as an unsafe method just because Maybe it's something that I wrote for new, and so Jenkins doesn't know about it. And right. I need to but, tell Jenkins that it's actually safe. But but usually, if you're being if you're being warned that something is an unsafe method, it's real that it's an unsafe method, and you're you should you should consider that you're now threatening the stability of your Jenkins controller by uh, enabling it. Okay. Well, there be very careful when when using this it's like i don't want to say here's this thing don't ever use it right Unsafe. i want to say be very careful when you be sure you know what you're doing when you use this because you could not be enabled without careful thought consideration okay. of the the impact of the method good yeah is that a way to say it that sounds nice, yes. Or careful consideration of the impact. 
yeah there we go so right please please be careful yeah okay all right and system manager This, I'm going to say, um, approved with okay. Consig yeah, with suggestions for your consideration. Yeah. Excellent. Thanks, Meg. Thanks. All right. Anything else on on pull requests or topics like that? Um, there is another older related PR out there that's not mine. Okay. That might be worth looking at just to because I don't know what to do about it. Okay, and which one's that? Where is it? It shows up here somewhere. I just saw it. Um, something about configure Jenkins. Is. I'm not seeing it there on page oh, one. I just just a second ago I was looking at it. Let me um that's a full screen. Maybe distributed builds migration from from uh, I forget from how embarrassing. Jonathan. Um, this one maybe? Let's wait a second. I just, I, um, what is it? I, sorry, I was looking away. Which one is it? The distributed builds migration was one that Jonathan did significant work on. It's been through lots of different comments. Ah, uh, no, that's this is one that, and I'm sorry, and I just lost a whole bunch of tabs, etc. So, um, but God, just a minute ago before this meeting, I went looking and spotted it and we get basically somebody else like a year before the before the ui changes had gone through and done something about configuring the made the maybe this one introduction page about system and manager jenkins yes yes okay and i don't know and oleg had made some comments and they I'm something that I'm confused about is I notice as I look some of these older PRs. Somebody did a PR and somebody commented, and they're sat there for months or right. Years and or. and yep, you're you're exactly correct. So so well. So let's take a look at okay. So what he changed it was to configuring the system. And this is in contradiction to your change, right? Because we've got your change is going to switch us strategically so that this system configuration page is a description of managed Jenkins. No, no, yeah, no wait a second. Of the, of, um, system, of the system configuration section under managed Jenkins. Ah, okay, got it. So managed Jenkins, and you say there is a system the first thing under managing Jenkins is configuring the system. Ah, got it. Okay. Got which it. Which right now is content free. <laughs> but you have added content to this, or have you? Have no, I no, no. Okay. I was thinking of doing that, but and but see, and and this one was done before we had the sections. Right. Okay, so what you've done is you've added to let's look at the files changed in yours. You've added to the Add it to the chapter with an about page and a system info page, but have not touched the that that opening page, this configuring the system page. It's right. still listed as work in progress. Because I okay. figured that could be done as a separate PR. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so then the question is: what do we do? Should we do something with that? with that pull request from Jonathan. 
Right. And I'm sure the answer is yes. And then it's, all right, how do we, is it ready to merge back to where we were? Okay, so this was on, oh, let's just do author, get JB. In one approach is we merge it and then I do some writing based on what he had done. Right. The alternative is I start from a blank skate slate. So. Yeah. See, here he is describing again the things that you've put into the top level page. Right. And so for me, this is a no. Let's not do it there, because we want that in the in the manage Jenkins page, not in the configuring the system page. Right. But now he has some stuff that I don't have. And right. Here's so, a question under man, like, and I do like, and um, he's talking about the REST APIs, and you know, that's a place. And where do we mention CASC? We mentioned that that's there on that list. But, and it may be, I was sort of thinking configuring this, but it may be that configuring the system begins with mentioning we've got this UI, and that's what we're going to talk about. But there are other ways you can set configurations. That that would be or have this might be a good place to say, hey, configuring configuring the system, you can either do it through manage Jenkins, which then link to the manage page, or through configuration as code and link to configuration as code, or through yeah. So I, I think this page, the way he the way he approached it is valid, but we've shifted the content elsewhere. But if there's still some content that we can use here, we can certainly take it from him and bring it in. Right. But I think we should do that in a separate pull request. Absolutely. Not, okay. Let's not, not conflate. This one is once, once you've had a chance to think through the, the proposed changes, um, this one is, I think, ready for us to merge. And it gets us out of having this page listed as... Work in progress. Let's see. And do we have any? I didn't check. Do we have any more work in progress notes? I don't think. Yes, so. we do. One more oh, system like, info. Uh, this one is. Ah, uh, yeah. Just because I copied that from someplace else. Right. And should look actually. That's that is new content. It's not very much, but see if you agree with it. Yeah. And, the, and it's it's definitely not work in progress. We shouldn't say, yes. hey, this is this is not not cooked yet. It's right. Except okay. Again, okay, got it. All right. So yes. Okay. So I think we're ready to have you look over my the proposed changes I made, reviewed the PR, the system configuration PR from get JV briefly, include its content, include a portion of its content. in a later pull request. Yeah. Because I think it makes sense that we we don't want to lose what he what he created particularly with Oleg's review comments. Yeah. I think most of I, as I recall the big one from Oleg was that he hadn't listed everything and he it, hadn't put in a cetera and his list sounded like it was com comprehensive so. Yep. Good. Okay. It wasn't some substantive about him saying that you could do this and oh like saying that's very dangerous or something no all right it wasn't that okay and then good. there's the other question of our long-standing friend about security where yeah we're up against and, it's like that needs to get merged and that needs daniel and obviously daniel's got much higher priorities right now so yeah though though it's it feels like that may be one we just want to ping him over the holidays here see if he's interested in review or I could bring it back to life by adding some of my comments and inviting his comments to 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 reply. Right. I mean, there, there part of me is like, I mean, we know it's it's it can be improved, but can we get it to the point where it's safe to put in what we've got? 
right you can improve it later because there's a bunch of stuff there that i think would be really good to have out there mm -hmm. yeah and much of it came right out of daniel's mouth unless i misrep unless i screwed it up in the translation so agreed okay elizabeth if, for context you know what we're talking about um Daniel Beck is our security officer and he is, he knows everything else too. He's really, really good. Um, he is of course, very hard to get resources from. And right now with Log4j, I think everybody's doing that. But so this is a PR that I did a while ago and it's sort of sitting there and aging. Yeah, so on screen, what you see is restructure the security section and and okay, it looks like Daniel has requested changes. Had you made those changes oh, that he God, requested? Did I miss those? I may have. Oh no, I requested changes. Hang on, just a minute. Let me just re-review. I've scheduled myself a re-review. Yeah, because all of Daniel's comments appear to have been have been resolved. So there's one of yours that isn't, and I responded to it. Okay, great. But, I'll, but I, but I'll review it yeah, separately. Okay. Yeah, I admit for a while I was looking at this thing every day and I kind of stopped that a couple of weeks ago. Okay, good. So. And then because if we get that one reviewed, then the, with that, that one has to go in and then we have to do, then I have to redo all the others. Great, so. all right. Okay. Yeah, so this one is, so this, this one here, the restructure is the leader that goes yes. in. Yes. Okay, great, all right. I should actually have tagged all those others as on hold or something. I think all of them have comments that say, don't merge this until that one is merged. Yeah, and I think we can. And because I, I think the issue, because all of them are gonna hit the chapter file and, and to do the development, I just shoved it at the end of that list, but we'll need to put them in the right order. Yeah, I can at least label them work in progress. Okay, and I thought I could mark them as draft, but I apparently can't. So I'll do that separately. That's an okay. easy step to take. Okay. All right. Actually, I can do that now, can't I? Uh, probably, yeah. Just go into what you do is you open <laughs> up the pull request and on the top right-hand section here, there's a convert to draft. Yeah. Okay. So we've almost run out of time. Are there other topics before we conclude? Anything from Elizabeth exciting? Elizabeth, anything we need to be aware of from you? Nothing, nothing from me for now. Just that um, while, while you were going through the whole, um, what you were going through Meg, I was a little bit lost, but I just had, down some things that I'll check up um, on Google after this meeting. I'll just check it up myself because I, I do not want to um, draw us back on this. So I'll check it up myself and probably in the next meeting or I could reach out to Zainab um, or send Mark a mail in case of anything. So that's what I'll just do. Thank you. Okay. Thank and uh, you are welcome to put a comment in because Donut, it's on these sorts of things, this is written for somebody who's just starting with the system. And you may have insights that Mark and I completely miss because it's, you know, that this isn't clear. So I would love to have that kind of comment. It would be very, very useful for everybody. All right, thank so you. So don't be shy. Thank you yeah. very much. All right. Okay. I th anything else before we close for the day? So no meeting next week. Uh, I'm unavailable next week, but then we'll be, meet again the following week. So I will be gone December 30th and we'll meet again January 6th. Okay. All right, thanks everybody. Recording, I'll get the recordings uploaded within the next 24 hours so that they're available. They'll be on community.jenkins.io. Happy New Year, everybody, and we'll talk in January. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks. Bye.